I was about five years old, we moved into an apartment that the landlord had had problems renting because of uh, people thought it was haunted. So we took it because we needed a place to stay. And after about the fourth night of trying to sleep there, we, we, we awoke to my mother uh, screaming. Something had frightened her, obviously, and we, me and my brother ran into the room, or ran to get in the room, and there was an apparition, if you will, standing there, and it appeared to be a middle-aged woman with jet black hair, hair in a uh, nightgown, but her body seemed to be translucent. You could more or less see through the image, but she had coal black hair, uh, real bright lipstick on, haunting, piercing blue eyes and she would not not let my mother out of the room or let me and my brother get in to her. You know. So we sat there for a while until it almost got daylight and the apparition just basically disappeared. So that went on for several nights and we got scared and we, all, we actually left as everyone else did. But after we left, um, the apartment building eventually burned down and when they went to clean up the debris, they found a woman's body underneath that apartment who had been murdered by her husband like 10 years prior to us moving in and they identified her as the, as the picture they showed us was the woman that we saw standing there at my mom's bedroom. It was, it was really scary. It was very scary. I mean, my, I can tell my mom about today. She's still living. She's 77 and I tell her about today and, and she gets chill bumps. I mean, it just brings back memories of she was probably in her 30s at that time. This was years ago, and uh, it was very alarming. But there's a lot of that activity in that area. I guess the lady wanted somebody to find her. She, she wanted, it was yeah. an un unsolved mystery, if you will. She wanted somebody to to acknowledge that and and make him pay for what he did to her. Yeah. And did he? Did he go to jail? Yeah. Oh, wow. They, they tracked him down. They proved he put bleach and arsenic. <gasps> That's how he killed her. Oh my God! And even after all those years, they found traces in the in the bones of the DNA, whatever you call it. And uh, he went to prison. He got sentenced to life. Oh my God! I don't remember what prison he's in. I think Moundsville. Wow! It's a state That's an incredible, in yeah. incredible story. Thank you for sharing that. You're very welcome, ma'am.